Hey, my beautiful, beautiful friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your friend, Kevin, and uh, this is your card of the day. All right, my friends, let's start off with the credits. We're using two decks this week from Kyle Gray. Uh, this deck, Angels and Ancestors, Oracle deck with artwork by Lily Moses. This is where we take our card of the day from. And then, of course, we've got card of the week, the Divine Masters Oracle deck, also by Kyle Gray. These images by Jennifer Hawkyard. And our card of the week, which we pulled last Sunday, is the Divine Director. Uh, the Divine Director... Uh, directs us all, uh, the entire universe. It's a bit like God's conductor, the source conductor, the conducting everything and making sure that things are as they're supposed to be, um, which is kind of interesting because, you know, uh, for every positive, upbeat energy in the world, there's also got to be that counterbalance. My isms for today is focus on love, feel joy and be content period. And then if you're looking for a meditation affirmation, breathe in calm, I am calm. Breathe in peace, I am peace. Breathe in balance, I am balanced. Breathe in stillness, I am stillness. And breathe in ease, I am ease. These five words, these five mantras came from a book by uh, Jay Shetty called um, Think Like a Monk. A fascinating book about his journey from um, being somewhat of a college dropout to going into a monastery, what he learned, what he discovered about himself. Um, wonderful book. Anyway, um, I digress. Let's get on with our card. Oh, incidentally, today is a five day and a five day is all, all about being sensual, being adventurous, um, knowing that change is coming up, being in front of the change. Uh, being courageous with your transformations. And of course, we've got a full moon on the horizon. So a few questions to ask yourself. But let's get to this card of the day. Uh, Gertrude and Beatrice are, as always, with me in the house. And I'm grateful. They said five days, five shuffles. So one, okay, and two, whoop. Mm -hmm. Let me tap these three and four and five we have got that animal guardian which i did not turn over so i'm just going to fan these out and pick another one here we go um i hope you're doing all right today everybody's feeling good in a good mood, put in the comments what you feel, how you feel. Oh, look at this. Good gracious. <laughs> Woo. Hello, hello, hello. The cycles of the moon. So listen, take note of all your intuitive messages. I feel like this week has been all about the intuition. Yesterday was animal instincts. Uh, and today we've got the moon card. And of course, you know, with this full moon coming up, this is a pretty cool full moon because it really is um, causing us to look at ourselves, to let go of really what we need to let go of, following um, the messages, the instinctive messages, the feeling of, I don't think this is working for me anymore, being instant about letting that go and, and, and working that out. Um, you know, um, Saturn is um, here about organizing our thoughts and our feelings in the planetary lineup in this full moon. Um, that can be a little heavy, um, particularly when we've got a full moon that creates all sorts of its own drama. You know, they say that emergency rooms fill up with people that are having uh, some issues. Um, but the full moon should be upbeat to the point of being a little too giddy, at least this full moon. Um, you know, that could be sit with the energy of the full moon, light a candle and write down 
all the things that are upsetting you, that are bothering you, that are getting on your nerves, getting on your mind, the, um, whatever those feelings and thoughts are, and light a candle and focus on them and then burn it somewhere safe, somewhere that you can just let go of that energy. And if you want to ask yourself some questions around the full moon, and that can be a day or two before, through the full moon, and to about mm, 24, 48 hours after the full moon, um, ask yourself where perhaps have you been a little too self-critical, um, a little too negative about yourself? And how have you perhaps been a little spiky um, with someone else? person who might have been near to you, dear to you, that cares about you. Maybe you snapped at them in a conversation. Perhaps you haven't written to them. Maybe, you know, I don't know what to say about that other than staying in peace, calm, balance, stillness and ease has stopped me from kind of getting there uh, and being grateful, grateful, grateful for their love. That sort of keeps me from going down that ratchet road of judgment. And then um, ask yourself, what is it and where is it that the upsets, the not so good feelings can be released? Um, especially if you know that letting go of the upsets and letting go of these not so great feelings can and usually do make you feel better it sort of like releases um the stigma around um yeah the stigma around being in that negative space um i think that if i'm studying right if i get this right um Full moon energy is really, truly about the divine feminine. And if you look at the angelic number five, it's associated with the tower card in traditional tarot. It's also focused on perhaps that feeling of awakening, um, the hangman, the, the, the ability and the opportunity to look at things in a completely different way or a new way. Um, According to Kyle Gray, if the moon represents the divine feminine, then the sun represents the divine masculine. Uh, and this is where these polarities create what we need to find is all of these, the balance. So you can also ask yourself a question, where am I not calm? Where do I do not find peace? Where do I not feel balanced? Where am I not being still other than sleep? And how can I go about my life being a little more easeful? Um, you know, the full moons come round every 28 days as a cycle of energy strongly connected to our emotions, what we're feeling, which is why we're doing this exercise of release, particularly on a five day. It's a release into change. We've got to let go of the tethers, cut them, use Archangel Michael, cut the energetic ties that bind me to anything that's not for my highest good, any drama that is causing me to be distracted. Um, when the full moon card like this appears in a, a reading such as today, um, everything is not quite as it seems. The Divine Director is reminding us here that it actually is quite the way it's supposed to be. They're asking you, the Divine Director is asking you, create space for your intuition to emerge. Um, Gertrude and Beatrice, let me get back over to this camera. Um, oh, Gertrude is saying... There's enough chaos in the world. You don't have to be the chaos. You don't have to add to the chaos. You don't have to add to the madness. Um, ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. Says more angels gathering. Uh, ooh. 
she's wearing a high priestess outfit today, Miss Gertrude is. Um, so it's when she's in her serious mood. Um, and this is sort of like where these two energies, these two um, spirit guides, I don't really quite know other than their energy, um, kind of merge together. Uh, and they're part of the one energy. We have to have that yin and yang. Feminine, masculine, sensible and silly. That's kind of the balance. And every so often, the silliness that Gertrude brings. <laughs> the one that makes me titter and giggle because she's just as delightful. Mel's emerges with Beatrice, who is the voice of reason and the voice of wisdom and the voice of this is this is where we're at. There's an awful lot out there that we cannot control. And this is where it's so lovely. In, in most people would say, this isn't lovely. This is, this is tough. This is terrible. This is difficult. The intuition, which I'm now really truly relying on more than I've ever relied on before, listening to what message do I need from this? And where it comes up for me is when I get a week in my spiritual circles they call it a hit a hit is oh i just got a strong message about so and so or somebody shares something and like oh i just got a spark of inspiration from what you just said there are mm, everything is energy 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 and the way you can land that think about the signal that comes from a satellite to your cell phone or the signals that are going that we don't see that's still energy it is remarkable that there are no wires involved just a signal a frequency a vibration that goes from phone number one to a satellite back down to phone number two and how interesting is it that person number one dials a number with no wires nothing connected and it gets to the person that it needs to get to that's an analogy in a physical way that we have taken for granted being in awe of the digital engineers that, that orchestrated it based on what divine director said Here's, I'm going to give you the skills to make all this happen, to, to increase this technology and get it to where it needs to go, up to now and including what they're calling artificial intelligence, AI. This is why your intuition, your gut feeling, the energies of the full moon cycles is so, oh, thank you, Beatrice, I'm getting it, so important because you know yourself really, really well, really well. And we've gone through this muck and mire of people telling you how you are, where you ought to be, what you should be doing, what their perceptions. That's all their viewpoint of you. But you are the character in your own movie and you get to write that script so on these full moons, while this full moon is up and going, you've got the glow of it. You've got the divine mas masculine. You've got the divine feminine. You've got the organization skills of Saturn. And you've got the divine director. All of these things are, are pointing to get out there, drop what you've done. And it's a bit like a mile marker for a runner. You've already passed number five or four or three or two. You've got to keep going one foot in front of the other, one breath in front of the other and use that energy lifting up the vibration, which opens up the vortex of your intelligence, your inner intelligence, the intelligence that tells you what you want to eat. I'm hungry. That's inner intelligence. You know, I've got to do this. That's inner intelligence. I don't feel right about that. It's inner intelligence. It comes with building the layer, the bedrock of confidence. They're saying they love you. Oh, and they're saying be kind to yourself, be loving to yourself. Find that balance. And with that, my friends, I think we're done. Listen, have an incredible week or day. Sorry. Um, 
until tomorrow i love you for liking subscribing ringing that bell and getting this out there thanks so much bye for now hey everybody we hope you've enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like subscribe and share it with all your friends uh, here's a qr code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me i'm available most evenings and on the weekends just go over to the website book in what session 30 minutes 60 minutes uh, and then fill in the contact information and i'll be back in touch and if you feel kind enough, here is a link to my donation button. Energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received. Until next time, be well, be blessed, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.